Assalamualaikum. My name is Ara Baizira. I'm an intern here at the CC Bangalore. So today I'm going to talk briefly about a powerful test technique that can be used to efficiently test a bandit control system, which is known as hardware equivalent test or, or HIL simulation test. So HIL is a test where a unit at the test is being tested and interact the simulated environment through a test system. So it also tricks the controller into thinking that it is being operated in a real-world scenario, thus real feedback and responses. So the benefit of using HIL are it can reduce the testing time because it allows us to perform the system level test without the complete system. So the testing can be done in a safer virtual environment. So that's my partner will be discussing about the real hardware and software used in this project. My name is Fidaus. First of all, I will introduce the hardware used in this test simulation. This is ECU, uh, stand for Electronic Control Unit. That's control real automobile engine, plant that simulate virtual engine model inside the controller PSI embedded controller. Let, uh, go to, let's go to the uh, virtual dashboard. This is the this is virtual dashboard managed by using an I very stand software to manage the input and output of the ECU and the virtual model. And we move to the uh, ECU. Here we are using 112 pin ECU manufactured by Mototron. And for the indicators, uh, there, there are six spark plug LED indicators and six fuel injector LED indicators to indicate that the response of the ECU to the virtual model. Let's take a look at national instrument hardware. Uh, on the bottom, there is PSI system. PSI system performs real-time calculation of engine module and exchange signal with ECU. On the far left, there is a PXI embedded controller. It calculates engine model promptly with accurate time interval. Here we are using multiple NI modules to create interface to meet various signal requirements of ECU. Let's take a look at them one by one. On the far left is the R-series FPGA module that passes power, cam, crank value to ECU and receive injector, spark and throttle body information from ECU. Next to it is the CAM communication module. It sends calculated value from engine module to the virtual dashboard. And right next to it is analog output module. It transmits uh, fuel pressure, uh, intake temperature, intake manifold pressure and accelerator pedal position to the ECU. Lastly, uh, the model that we using is uh, Ford Exchange Module. This is used uh, for inserting Ford 2 ECU uh, and verifying whether uh, Ford responding algorithm is operating properly. After this, uh, my partner will explain about the demo. Assalamualaikum, my name is Kairo Anwar and let's proceed to the demo. Alright, here we can see the workspace of our software we're using, NI Berry Stand. So here we have the user interface, the gas, the brake and the gear. And we also have an indicator for the engine speed and also the vehicle velocity. So right now, let's start the engine. And we can see the uh, RPM already increased. So let's increase the gas and increase the gear. So here we can see the vehicle velocity increase. And if we apply a brake, the velocity decrease. So here we can see the ECU is performing appropriately under normal condition. In HIL testing, we can also inject fault to test how the behavior of the ECU under faulty condition. So here are some of the input of the ECU that we can tap and change. And one of them is EPP, which stands for Accelerator Pedal Position, which is the sensor that measures how much you press the gas. Now, let's simulate a situation where EPP signal is being disconnected and open. So let's first, we increase the gas and let the gear to drive mode. And let's wait until the vehicle velocity increase.
and now let's inject our fault and we can see the vehicle velocity decrease in this situation the ECU right now is receiving an open signal of EPP and interpret and decided to decrease the velocity of the vehicle rather than increase it which is an appropriate response to EPP open so with HIL method test engineer can run simulation to locate errors and run debugging to develop a highly reliable issue thanks for watching